Hello guys, welcome back everyone to Learning by Teaching. Today we are in the dynamics and we're going to solve problem 12.1, okay? It says, starting from rest, a particle moving in a straight line has an acceleration of a equals to 2t minus 6 and this is in meters per second squared, where t is in seconds. What is the particle's velocity when t equals to 6 seconds? And what is its position when t is equal to 11 seconds, okay? So, Oh, if we start with what the problem gave us, we know that our acceleration is equal to 2t minus 6, okay? Now, what we need to know in this first chapter of the book is that what acceleration is, is the derivative of our velocity with respect to time, okay? And if we were to solve for our change in velocity, we will realize that this is equal to our acceleration times our change in time. So knowing this, and if we perform an integral on both sides, meaning that we'll have the integral of our change in velocity equal to our velo uh, integral of our change in, in, of our acceleration times our change in time has to be equal to each other, okay? So now our velocity will start from zero. So our first initial boundary from our change in velocity is zero. And we know that because our particle is starting from rest, okay? And then our final velocity, we're just going to call it V. Now on our right side, we can rewrite all this to be equal as of our acceleration in terms of time, which is given by the problem. So we have 2t minus six multiply by the change in time okay so all these multiply by the change in time now if we're starting from rest that means that our initial time is zero and our final time will be just t okay if we perform the integral of our left side over here we will realize that this is equal to v going from zero all the way to our final v and this is, has to be equal to the integral of our right side over here will be equal to t squared minus 6t and we are evaluating this from 0 all the way to a final t okay if we plug in into our evaluations they will this will be equal to v equals to t squared minus 60 and nothing else why is that because our initial boundary conditions are 0 and 0 on both sides okay so now that we have our velocity in terms of time what we can do is that we're going to solve our first question. What is the particle velocity when t is equal to 6 seconds? So we're going to plug in our time to be equal to 6 seconds. And we will have 6x squared minus 6 multiplied by 6. And as we can see, this is 6x squared minus 6x squared. So our final answer for our first question is going to be 0 meters per second. Okay, so as I said, this is our first answer. Next is asking for what's the position when t is equal to 11 seconds. So the next concept that we need to learn on this chapter is that our velocity is equal to our change in position with respect to time. So the derivative of position with respect to time. And if we solve for our change in position, just as we did, in this step for our velocity this will be equal to velocity times the change in time okay and we're going to do the same procedure we're going to apply an integral on both sides so we will have the integral of our change in position has to be equal to our integral of velocity times the change in time okay so our position starts from zero again why does that happen because our particle is started from rest our final position will be s, we're just going to call it s as a variable. Now, on our right side, we can work it out a little bit more. We're going to have the integral of our velocity. But we found that our velocity in terms of time is equal to t squared minus 6t, right? So we're going to plug that in, t squared minus 6t. And all that is multiplied by our change in time. Then we just need to define our boundaries and we're ready to go. Now our time starts from zero and we, we assume that our final time will just be a variable t, okay? So if we do the integral on our left, 
So this guy over here, we're going to find that this is equal to s and where it's going to be evaluated from zero all the way to a final s has to be equal to, and the interval on our right, which is a little bit, let's say more complicated, but it's a still a simple integral will be t cubed divided by three minus 60 squared divided by two. And if we simplify this fraction, this just will become 3t squared, okay? Now, all this is going to be evaluated from zero all the way to our final time. Now, if we solve for our boundaries, like uh, initial conditions in here, we will realize that we have s on our left side has to be equal to t cubed divided by three minus three t squared, okay? And basically it's just like dropping the same uh, variables down and the reason is because we're changing our variable for the same variable and at the end our initial condition was equal to zero on both parts okay so now we have our position with respect to time and what we can do is plug the time that the question said and if we go back they want the position when time is equal to 11 seconds so we're going to do that we're going to put s when time is equal to 11 we're going to have 11 cubed divided by 3 minus 3 times 11 squared, okay? And now we're going to use our calculator and figure how much that is. And if we plug this in, this is going to be equal to 80.7 if we round it up into one decimal place of and the units are going to be meters, okay? So this is going to be our second answer for this problem okay so if you guys like the video please push the like button subscribe and i'll see you guys in the next one